Hello. Okay. It's the joy. Huh? I just want to say something. Um, I've noticed that um, people have certain personalities mm, that um, started when they were younger. It started from watching someone in particular they found intriguing. Um, like like a, a mom or um, a, a friend who was more of a mom to them than their mom or um, not necessarily even that it could it could be someone who they just fancied they just wanted to be like them you know I do that with learning music I like certain music because of the personalities that are in the music and you know, the funny thing is, um, that may not even be that artist's natural personality. It, it, it came from someone they copied. Um, it's like I pick up a subconscious thought that that person had. Is not really something I care about so much, but it's something that they care about. So my empathetic side is saying, I want to understand this person more. So I'm copying, I'm, I'm thinking that thought in my mind, even though I don't even know what that thought is. Um... It's like if someone has a certain sadness about something, they project it onto what they're taking care of. Um, so when I'm trying to get myself to do something, like clean the house or something like that, I, I pick up like a personality to clean the house. I can either clean the house slowly there's like a certain personality where we're not we're not caring too much about um, certain things that go with that personality because um, that personality doesn't care about certain things. Um, but then like the mad personality cares about um, you know first thing we're gonna throw away all the trash we're gonna um, we're gonna like destroy the the stands on the carpet we're gonna. Um, get every single speck of dust out of every single corner kind of thing and um, we're gonna get all the all the structures of crusty stuff off of the counters and um, we're gonna move all of the stuff that is blocking the way in this area like that's a certain personality I can adapt or I could be the slow we're not gonna panic we're just gonna do this one thing at a time um we don't have to do everything at once we don't have to start lots of different projects and not finish them we're just starting one and we're finishing that one project you know it's it's like that um so i think people find certain people intriguing they adapt that personality and um there is they don't realize that they're both taking the good parts of that personality as well as the sadness that that person was feeling like um that person may have been upset that they weren't in the right relationship so um that the child picks that up and they they're now growing up thinking they're never in the right relationship they're never feeling like they love anyone. They don't um, understand certain things when actually that's not them. They can understand that it's that personality they have that is, or that they're using that they don't know how to stop using 
that is doesn't understand it because you know it's it's not them it's somebody else so they therefore they can't use the brain that that person has correctly um you know this is all just a theory i have um but i i really think it's it's the truth because um like for me with music i can i can switch my personality to you know it's just like i'm saying personality it's it comes down to tonal inflection uh voice um mannerisms like in order for me to stop thinking about every little thing individually i just in my mind i call it one thing just a personality to um just let it go let it run and i don't think about it too much um so um sometimes If I spend a lot of time with one person, I stopped acting like myself, I start acting like them. And then, and then I forget what I act like. And it's confusing and uh, it doesn't work. And I, I know that and I can't use my brain the right way. Um, but one thing to note is that when doing that with somebody else's personality, yes, you can learn some things. Yes, it does give you the abilities to do some things, but you get all the sadness they have and you don't know why. And that's kind of scary, actually. Um, it's like, like my... I'm not going to use my actual mom for this, but um, let's say I am someone whose mother grew up and she was um, m mad at something. She, she's going to have that go through her movements, her actions, the way she handles you, like um, what she lets you get away with. Um, how she reacts to you acting up, um, like how she reacts to me acting up. She's gonna, like, if I show resistance, if she's upset and she doesn't control that, she's going to um, try to hurt you a little bit. So, if if she doesn't let herself do that, if she has self-control she will not hurt you even though it's it, it seems justified to hurt you she won't do that because she has something else in her mind blocking that saying no i'm not going to hurt you i'm not going to show this through my actions that i'm mad at um the world I'm mad at something and right now it's you like it's her realizing I'm not mad at you I'm mad at someone else you know but um that's not exactly related to what I was trying to say um like even if you have that self-control your kid will realize that you're sad about something and like, especially if they're very empathetic, they will know, they'll know what it is without you telling them. They'll know that you're sad and they'll know exactly what it is. They can't always identify it though. They can't always describe it because it's not something so obvious, but it does affect their life. It does affect their actions and their decisions. And, like, if I'm sad about something, I, I will sometimes start to believe I am something. Because it's in a different part of my mind. 
this is not apparent. So I think it's like this mystical thing. Therefore, it has some some level of godliness to it and um, higher authority than what I understand. So I think it's um, something to be respected when in reality it's something that has to be controlled. It's not something that is mystical. It's It has to not affect my life in a negative way. It has to not let me say, oh, I'm this thing, not this thing. Or I can never experience this in life. I can never have happiness in this area. Like, it's not even you. It's somebody else, you know. Do you, do you understand? Yeah, it's pretty complex. And I don't completely understand it, but I just want to warn you about that. Because that, I, I really think that's a thing. Anyway, let it guess.